Hello. Hi, welcome back to me and Monami and uh, to the second of our episodes camping here in the Nervia Valley in the hills high above uh, Dolce Aqua. And uh, today we've got a treat for you because uh, as well as taking a look around this house and hearing from uh, Christian just exactly what he's going to try and do to this place over the next few years in terms of solar power, etc, etc. Um, we're also going to take you down into Dolce Aqua. We're then going to hopefully take you for lunch and, uh, well, we might even squeeze in a, a swim and uh, all that. And we'll be putting Elton through his paces up and down these mountains in, well, extreme heat. I mean, you'd expect nothing less. <laughs> Well, Mr. Boo, it was the first night of our new inflatable tent and after we got over the uh, insanity that Decathlon sell inflatable tents that don't come with a pump, you have been warned, you need to buy this 12 quid pump. Uh, after getting over that, we, we put it up and, uh, and, and well, we, we liked the way it looked. But did you sleep better? Oh my God, I slept so much better than our other tent. And was this to do with the, the new mattresses, the bigger tent? I think it was both, because it's having more space just above and to the sides, like in our own bedrooms, but the mattress- We had separate was, wings. Mattress was so comfortable and didn't squeak and move and wobble and bobble no, like a water I mean, bed. All we could hear was the twit to woo of the owl and uh, I, th I think Tamsin and Christian stayed up late and as they were watching meteor storms, but I was in bed by 12. Um, but no, I slept great as well. I slept straight through to five when I um, uh, when nature called, nature called. And, in the nature. Uh, and, and boy, is there some nature and some bugs here. We are covered in bug spray and our flex tail, uh, insect repellent is on full pelt, etc., etc. Um, but I, I slept uh, till five, then I uh, nature called and then I, I went back to sleep uh, until about seven mm. so it was great we're not we don't feel jet lagged um, no. so far we absolutely love this tent and it does seem to be keeping off the heat and unbelievably I mean Villefranche has been so hot this last two weeks it was actually cool enough in there to put a sheet over me uh, my, 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 I got a bit of cramp in my left foot it's uh who, who did that film my left foot um, you just don't remember anything, Mr. Boo. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yep, but uh, that was that was a, a big improvement. So we'll have to see how we get on today when this thing sits here under the full sun, but it's meant to have um, uh, sun, sun repelling properties. Mm. Uh, but we'll see when we come back just how hot it is. But it certainly has good ventilation. It feels a lot more organized and uh, uh, it, it feels like progress. The, the only problem we still have is just trying to get all that stuff on Elton. Uh, and these chairs had to come with Tamsin. There's nowhere we could put these chairs on with all that, so I don't quite know what we do. And no, before you say it, Elton cannot pull a trailer. It's a light quadricycle, it's illegal. Um, anyway, let's get on and, uh, and do some exploration and, um, uh, well, find out more about this property and uh, and, and what it costs and what they're hoping to do to it over the next few years, because it's quite a project. This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. Well, before we go any further, just want to tell you about something we've discovered in the last few weeks. It's um, holy water. No, it's not. It's Holy Drinks, because a company called Holy Drinks sent us these wonderful sachet drinks. And, well, we never had anything like them. We often, because me and Mr. Boo, you know, we're very healthy and fit. And we swim a lot. We go to the gymnasium and things like that. We're often using, uh, you know, rehydration drinks, energy drinks. But, you know, quite often they're bad for you. They're full of sugar. Basically, all the exercise that you've done is, is cancelled out by all the calories you, you immediately drink afterwards. But these rehydration sachets, these iced tea sachets, these, uh, what's the other one? Energy, Energy drinks. They literally are very low calorie. I think they're under 20 calories. They've got no artificial colorings. They've got no caffeine. They've got none of the bad stuff that you associate with energy drinks. But I tell you what, 
they really work. In fact, they really work so much that that giant box that they sent us, we down to about five left. Um, and they come in all kinds of weird and wacky flavours. What's your favourite, Mr. B? This one, watermelon whale. Watermelon whale. And really, all you have to do is put the sachet in that uh, in that shaker that Mr. Boo is exercising on uh, and fill it up with, with water. Water, that's water to you posh people. Shake it, give it a good shake, and away you go. Let me have a taste. That's What's your that one? That's watermelon whale. That is really, really nice. And um, anyway, you won't be surprised to know that we've got a special offer on it. Check it out down below. What's the special offer? Five pounds off your first order. And 10% after that. 10% after that. I've probably got it the wrong way around. But anyway, it'll say at the bottom of the screen, check out Holy Drinks. They're good for you and they're good for the planet. So where are you headed now, Mr. Boo? We're headed down the scary path uh, into Dr. Aqua. Oh, well, I'm going to stay here and do some male bonding with Christian and discover all the secrets of this house and property. Land. Boy stuff. Boy stuff. Man stuff. Man calf stuff. Bye, gang. The roads that lay open are many. Tim, what are you doing here? I, well, come on in. I've come from Architectural Digest oh. to look at your dream home. <laughs> Welcome to Casa Justina. Casa Justina. Yes. Now, tell us, I mean, just to, so the viewers have got some context, you've, you've lived in France for sort of what, how long, 20 years-ish? Yeah, almost. Yeah. Um, and so this is not somewhere you've bought to come from Britain to start a new life. This is a sort of second home-ish. Yeah, well, I mean, we just, thought that when the kids get a little older, if you want to hang out with them, I know not everybody does, <laughs> uh, you have to have somewhere to go as a family, you know, yeah. so they can bring their friends and then bring their partners way, way later on. Yeah, because you live like in that. an apartment, it's a nice apartment, but you know, property prices in France are so high, you couldn't afford a big house, could you? It's not, you know. Yeah, no, there's no way we could afford yeah. it. I mean, anything, anything housey where we live yeah. is, upwards of a million and a half. Yeah, so it exactly. just, it just isn't Not happening. Happen. So, um, so yeah, we were motivated basically to have somewhere because holiday time and stuff like that is, is you know, it's a, it's a place that has competition for other things. So we want to have a nice place for, for us all to go so that the kids would be interested and actually just like a place to hang out. Yeah, is it um, working? Yes, <laughs> for the most part. But nah. they are being torn away from their game consoles and phones and stuff like that because we are properly in the country here. Yeah, I noticed yesterday, I mean, Callum arrived and he got on with, with doing the fire and, and stoking the sort of fire pit and the pizza oven and, and Jesse got on with watering the flowers and I thought, well, that's, like you say, a damn sight of, uh, better than sitting playing Warcraft Game of Wonder or whatever yes, they call exactly. it. Yes, exactly. So, I mean, if, if you want to have a holiday home in France, Anything that is affordable is uh, way past the VAR. So you have the big cities in the south of France, yeah. anywhere within easy commuting distance. So anywhere in the VAR, anywhere in the Bouches de Rhone is really expensive. I yeah. mean, a stone yeah. house there is, is 400,000 yeah. plus. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so, we are, are going to tell everyone at the end of this video what, what you actually pay it for this, because it's, <laughs> it's, it's intriguing. But, um, it's, uh, but so, so, so why, why Italy? I mean, obviously, as you say, the cost was less. It's, it's close enough, isn't it, to France? You know, you, you can get here in a proper car in how long? In your Berlingo? Yeah, so in, in a car, it's an hour on the button. Right. From door to door, right. uh, which is great. It means yeah. you can come here if there's an emergency. You can go home if there's an emergency. Yeah. And it's not a bind yeah. to to come to the place. You and know. you do get, I mean, I love it every time we come over the border, there is just such a different feel to Italy as yeah. to France. Like, yeah. It's not necessarily better, so it's you really, So you really feel uh, like you're on holiday because suddenly yeah. everything is different. Yeah. The food, the people's attitude, the language, everything is, it's, it's a complete, completely different vibe to uh, the countryside in France, yeah. strangely. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so that was, uh, I, Tamsin took a bit of, con convincing she really wanted to be in Italy uh, in France but we came to Dolce Aqua one time for lunch yeah. and uh, and that was that she was uh, kind of smitten because I know you said to me just looking at this incredible view that your plan was 
sort of to spend, or Tamsin said this, to spend sort of months on end, possibly years, coming and looking at houses. We'll spend we were, years we were looking literally at going to spend four <laughs> years. That's what we said. We'll, we'll just, you know, whenever we have a chance, we'll pop over to Italy, look at a house, have lunch, check out all of the little villages. Yeah. And um, in the end, Tamsin saw two properties. We looked at this one first and then one down close to Dolce Aqua Village. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and then came back actually and climbed over the fence and had our lunch right on that table there. Um, and you yeah, broke in? Pretty much. <laughs> we broke in, yeah. I told the owners after we bought All the right. place, I did tell the owners that's that we did it. I'm not sure how pleased he was about that, but you know, that's he like, did He did sell the property. That's like road he, testing our tent first. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I think it's important that we had time to just look around because at first, it's not that inspiring, you know, the house, in, you know, in, the, in, the, in all, like all uh, photographs on real estate, it looks much bigger than it actually is when you get here. Mm. It's really quite small inside. Mm. So I was kind of disappointed. But then when we came back and had a look around and said, oh, well, you know, it has quite a lot of potential, you know. Yeah. So just to I tell mean, you. Tell us about the land. What, how so, much land have you got? Because this intrigued me. Just under an acre. So that's about 5,000 square meters. Right, so all of this down to those trees. All the way down to the end, and then yeah. all the way back up to these trees up here behind. Right, and uh, then down to these trees here, and then yep. you've got where we've camped, uh, down here. And there's, the, there's our little temporary campsite, all this along here. And then you've got all this along here with the drive. Yeah. And up there, I think you were saying you're gonna try and put a bull's pitch behind the pizza oven, is that right? Correct. Very good. And and what were you also saying about solar you were going to put? Um, so, I mean, in Italy, I don't know how generous the grants are right. now, but before they had extremely generous grants for uh, any sort of renewable energy yeah. or solar or heat pumps or anything like that. So we'll have to look at that. But the plan is to have the place, you know, fully heated and cooled by heat pumps. You know, if, if we do manage to do a pool, maybe, yeah. That will be heated by a heat pump, and then we're going to run it off solar right. and have an engineering space around the back with, uh, with batteries. Right. I mean, this is a dream solar, solar farm. <laughs> really. I mean, the sun <laughs> comes right over and yeah, yeah. sets right yeah. over the other side there. So, yeah, yeah it doesn't get any better. No, really. it's perfect. Yeah. And not only are you thinking of solar, but you were saying to me an amazing thing that all your water here is free. Yes. So, uh, as I said, the previous owners were, were growing, I mean, a huge amount of flowers behind the house here. Right. And so they, they dug a well going down wow. 200 meters, which wow. is pretty deep. Yeah. Um, so all of our water, just basically we flip a switch, it fills a massive uh, cistern in the back. I think it's a 30,000 liter cistern. And then, um, yeah, that's, a, that's our water. That's just crazy. Around. I know. It's, well, that's it's, a big so, so, I mean, if, if we do it right with batteries, solar, yeah, and the well. I mean, we could have this place completely off grid. Yeah, which would be, uh, which would be amazing. I mean, it'd be cool. That would be crazy. Um, and, and so, so let's let's take a look at the house because let's start with this strange building because this is sort of, I, I when we arrived yesterday, I said, oh look at look at this this sort of side building. It looks like a, it's like where they're going to have their gym. <laughs> uh, and then you said it's actually been a shop. Originally. Yeah. So the the uh, the previous owners um, used all the land around the back here for cultivating flowers. Right. And this, <clears throat> this is where they sold flowers wholesale. Um, and yeah, so it, it really isn't. Yeah. I mean, fit, the minute, at the minute it's in development, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Like, like the whole place. Not, it's legally not fit for, for habitation. So we have to change uh, the, the floor. We have to insulate. Uh, there's a few other things we have to do. And then we change the, um, the usage from right. uh, commercial to residential. Right. So and, the plan and, yeah. is to have this as a standalone apartment. So right. kitchen, bed, the whole thing. And, and th this you may rent out or for friends or? Yeah, 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 yeah. either or. So th there is this possibly, possibly a plan that it has to pay for itself a little bit this yes. place in terms of yes, we'd hope so. Airbnb or rental yeah. or whatever. Yeah, we'd hope yeah. so, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the actual house because I looked at it yesterday, and I'm usually pretty good at guessing sort of periods of houses. And I, I sort of looked up at the front end, and I, I said to, to Tamsin, is this sort of, I don't know, 1950s or something? And well, she said, no, it's 200 years old. And I went, oh, that's intriguing. But then when you go inside, you start to realise yeah. why it might be true. Yeah. So the front of the house yeah. was added on, we think, in the 1990s. That's what the previous owners said. 
The back of the house um, is, we don't know, it's 200, 200 years plus. Um, right. One of the neighbours is a bit of a historian. He reckoned that this building was part of a religious order. Right. Um, there are certain on the road up, we noticed quite a number of religious icons. Yeah, well, they're so everywhere. that's Italy. Yeah, 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 yeah everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So there's a famous uh, road that comes past here, a Roman trade route uh, called the Alta Via. Right. And uh, so there's a, a Roman um, post up here, and they used to then bill it just down here, just down the road, over the over the road here, across the across the way. Right. Um, but this what this doesn't go back to that. It goes, it's you know three or four hundred years old. Probably. Yeah. Well, let's have a nosy. So this is probably the oldest bit. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, you can see the the vaulted ceilings. The walls are half a meter. Thick. They really are, and it's so cool in here. That's yeah, what's I mean, in I mean, the winter it stays really cool. Oh, sorry, in the winter it stays uh, freezing cold. <laughs> <laughs> We're all huddled in front of the fireplace, but in the summer it's just perfect. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And because I, I walked in here earlier, and I just said to you, I said, "This is where I'm going to come and do some editing today because it's uh, this is the coolest bit of the whole building." I think yeah, this no, little sort of dining area. It's pretty ancient. I think uh, what I'd like to do is see what sort of rock stone is underneath this and see if we can expose some of the old um some of the older stone yeah 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 and this this is the more we think so, the more modern so, bit. so this is the yeah this is the new bit this is modern uh, right. construction um thin thinner walls you know um, yeah it's still i mean it's still solid but it's not and there's a gorgeous it's not breeze coming through here i have to say yeah it uh, it's remarkable how much cooler it is up here yeah it's, it's 450 meters but the difference that altitude makes is, yeah. makes is just... And do you, do you call this Dolce Aqua or do you call this, is it a specific... So yeah, this is in the, in the commune of Dolce Aqua. Right. But the actual area, uh, this hamlet, is called Pozzuolo. Right. So yeah. down the line, anybody coming, because Dolce Aqua is quite a popular, and well, lots of the villages around there are absolutely stunning, but Dolce Aqua is very popular for tourism. You'd yeah. think, think people might want to come here and, and go to Dolce Aqua and have a week up here. And, yeah, yeah you know, hopefully. Pitch. Hopefully that'll be the thing. And, uh, you know, I mean, Airbnb and stuff gets a bad press for taking up family housing and stuff like that. But this place was no. empty for seven years. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's exactly. not like exactly. anybody was rushing to live no. up here. <laughs> Just <laughs> talking of which, I mean, how, on a scale of one to ten, how crazy do some of your friends think you are taking this on? Because there's, you know, I've looked around, it's fantastic, but there is a hell of a lot of work to do. There's a lot of gardening to do, and yeah. it's going to keep going, isn't yeah, it? A lot yeah, of yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Um, well, I mean, it was a case of things were going a little bit too smoothly, so we decided to take on a massive project in Italy. I mean, daft, completely daft. So, but uh, people's reactions ranged from, what are you doing, you nutters, to what a fantastic idea. Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of that depended on whether they wanted to come and stay. <laughs> <laughs> so the ones that wanted we to come, said it was marvelous. Yeah, exactly. The ones that wanted to come and stay were like, oh, that's a brilliant idea. Here, spend all of your money, you know. But you know, you know? when we first came to this Derby Valley, I think two or three years ago camping, we instantly said if we could afford to buy anywhere, it would be here because yeah, yeah. we just love the vibe. We love the proximity to where we actually live. Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 you know, it's, it's affordable. Yeah, no, um, it is. It is. It, so can we nosy upstairs, as they yeah. say? Well, we do have one sleeping child, a sleeping oh, teenager. Oh, we're better, we're better. Must not be. Tiptoe. Must not be disturbed. How many bedrooms have you got? Two bedrooms. A big family bathroom in here. So this is the family bathroom with uh, slightly vintage, <laughs> slightly vintage decor. But I mean, I, I quite Top love these. Here, though, for keeping. Yeah, your, these are great. Look at the sink. Even your balls keep cold. So I mean, the, the the thing of it is, is that the place is completely dry. It's completely serviceable. Yeah. It hasn't got any problems. The roof looks good. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you could buy a wreck, but this place pretty much we just, you know, wandered around the countryside with our trailer, finding free pieces of furniture and stuffing them in the trailer and then dropping them off here. I and mean, you've all been of... towing them with your e-bilingo as yes, well. Yes, I have, yeah. <laughs> with, with varying degrees of success. Um, <laughs> Good buzzy net, I think yeah, but that's there, wise. There's a, a fantastic uh, website called Le Bon Quan. Yeah. And you, no, can, just, you can just find the most amazing yeah, stuff. I mean, can. this is just... Absolutely, it's probably the most beautiful piece of furniture we own, and I think we got it for like fifty euros. No, I mean the the place out, you know, truck out towards Trinity, that mm -hmm. that second hand place. 
there are so many of this, you know, yeah. and they, they're 70, 80, 90 years, nobody wants that yeah, brown it's, furniture. It's and crazy. it's beautiful. It's crazy. And it's I mean, really this, well made. this is particular, particularly pretty. But the guy had a shop in Saint Jean and his, his grandkids were selling it. Right. Uh, after he passed. Because right. they had so much of this stuff, he made yeah, it all yeah. himself. Yeah, it's just very out with young French, and so it gets, yeah. it gets, uh, you can get it for nixty. And here we have the loggia. Look at this terrace. So this is very common in, 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 you know, in houses in this area is that they have an upstairs kind of sitting area outside. Yeah. Uh, I think probably just to get an extra bedroom, we're going to block this in. Right. Because we don't really use it the way it's intended for. But that's, that's your view in the morning. It's, uh, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. <laughs> yeah. We woke up to that this morning. It was very, very lovely. So the big question is, I mean, what, how much did this place cost? Because, you know, I came and I looked at it and let's say I'm used to the sort of French prices and even British prices, to be honest, thinking, my God, this is, you know, three quarters of a million pounds or something. Or just because of the land and the position and everything yeah. else. Uh, uh, it cost us all in all, I think it was 245. Wow. So that is the price of a small flat. Yes. In, in so we nice. actually sold a small flat in Nice Port. <laughs> for exactly right. the same amount. Swapsies. Yeah, <laughs> uh, which covered this. Yeah. But, um, and you know, if you, if you talk to Italians, uh, because they just, a, a lot of them don't have interest in this sort of no. No. living, um, they'll, they'll think you're absolutely crazy for yeah. spending that much money. But I yeah. mean, for us, I don't know, there was an intrinsic value in it that- Well, it's that view. Yeah. That it's we just thought position. it was—it was probably worth it's a lifestyle yeah. choice. I mean, you know, I think I think you know you you're going to have to spend quite a lot of money on this place. Not necessarily the main house, but mm. the grounds and all the things you want to do to get it up to speed. Yes. You know. So yeah. So and it's going to be a years long project to get it you know, how we want it. But at the same time, as it is now, it's livable. It's fun. Yeah. To yeah. hang out. We're kind yeah. of camping. It's yeah. You know, it's not luxury, but it is. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it is just fun being with the family, and it's fun, you know, using the pizza oven. And, you know. It was gorgeous last night. Just yeah. sat here. What, what more do you want? It's, yeah. you know, that's your value. It this is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many when the old ones gone under the knife. So there's a feeling this is an upcoming area in terms of these developments, people taking on old Italian houses and doing them up. Yeah. yeah or, sure. or, you know, building on top of them or whatever. I think so. I think it's just moving further back. It hasn't, you know, our area, it hasn't quite got to our area. I mean, there's a few, there's a few developed houses where we are. Yeah. Here you see this. Oh, yeah. It's a big development, oh, uh, like an old, an old house, but they got this beautiful frontage on it and stuff like that. And just poor stonework. Fountain going and everything. Wow, lovely. And that presumably would have been an old farmhouse or something. Yeah. When the old one's gone under the knife, and I can It's going to keep on your toes this uh, this road, Christian. And Not me, don't mate. Shake her. Man in the road. Space. Tricky one. <laughs> There's Dolce Aqua laid out like a carpet. And there's the famous bridge, the Monet Bridge. Monet painted it sadly. I think his paints come off. Uh, this is slightly on fire. This uh, that this can't be porch. right. That, <laughs> it's going to catch fire. How oh, is it smoking weird. that much? I don't know. That's surreal. What's he running it on? <laughs> <laughs> Cooking oil. Oh my god! Maybe it just has to heat up. Jesus. 
e poi un cappuccino. When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Oh, look at this, what have we got? Salad, new potatoes and then chicken done in that wonderful pizza oven last night Pizza chicken So we are, uh, it's approaching two minutes to five and uh, we're headed Ooh. down the mountain to, where are we going in terms of the stream? Rocketta, we're going to the lakes in Rocketta. The lakes in Rocketta, lakes. where we're hoping to have a swim, aren't we? Yeah. In theory. Mm. This is Rocketta, we've never been here, it's gorgeous. Look at that. The swimming this way. And just like that, the stream appears in the middle of the town. How crazy is this? It's almost like like Walt Disney created it, isn't it? It's a bit theme parky, but in a fabulous nice. way. Yeah. Fantastic, icy cold water on a 34 degree day. Yum, yum. It's quite an amazing location this. To have this rock pool right in the center of the town. Just imagine how cold it is in winter. I bet they don't do a Santa swim here. Oh, maybe they do. But it's absolutely magical, even on an August day when it's crowded. There's just something completely amazing about this free facility in the centre of this wonderful little village. Wow. <laughs> Don't think diving's a good idea. Callum! <laughs> Mr. Boo's very apprehensive to get in, he's slow to get in. He's not good with cold water. He takes it. He doesn't go with that figure just getting fast. Today is a good day to What's the temperature? So the water here is 23. Put that in context. In uh, in the sea, in Villefranche, it was 30 the other day. Callum and Jesse are going exploring. Famous five style. We know where that ends. I accidentally sat on your t-shirt, so I'm drying it on the on the oh. on the twig. Oh, not on Twiggy. No, no, Twiggy. Twiggy was missing you. Oh, he's okay, though, isn't he? Oh, thank God. Ready. Mr. Boo, just come and look at this little house I've found for sale. This is special. It's got a loft bed up there. Oh, and yeah. a tiny kitchen here. Yeah. Toilet there. Oh, I didn't see the bed. I, I imagine you would just buy it so you could swim in the stream or something. You could use it just to get changed in. But Von Daisy. Yeah, you that's what I mean, it's like a beach shop. I think that's what it is. I think there's two or three of them. 
I think they're like I mean, summer. There's a boiler as well for the yeah. showers. I think they're like summer houses. That's How much easy. is it for several? Micro camping, micro living, the ultimate tiny house, Mr. Boo. Imagine. Rent here for what? For a weekend or a week. I'm oh. a thick man now. Thank you. So you just literally come to the village and swim in the stream. Before we go and grab a, a quick post-swim drink, just want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has uh, sent us coffee this month. It really does make a big, big difference to uh, the viability of this channel. And uh, stick around to the end of the video when you'll uh, hopefully see your name in the roll call of honour. Thanks. Time for some nibbles and a drink before dinner, Callum. Where are we going for dinner? Here we're going to have we're going to Dolce Aqua. Dolce Aqua? Yeah. You've got to love Italian bars where you get <laughs> cheap drinks and and a plate of nibbles. Don't get that in France. Oh, clever girl. Where are we going now, Mr. Boo? We are now going for dinner. And where? Dolce Aqua. It's a very simple menu, this pasta and ravioli, but what, what do you do? You choose your pasta or your pasta shape, and yeah. then you choose your sauce. Oh, it's, so it's like mix your own pasta dish. Fabulous. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. What's that? This is Oh, no, that's on the Yeah. This looks amazing as well. This is rabbit gnocchi, I think. I've got violet gnocchi. Violet gnocchi? Violet gnocchi. Violet Carson gnocchi? Violet Carson gnocchi with four cheese sauce. Violet Carson gnocchi with four cheese sauce. Do you remember Violet Carson in Coronation Street? And Minnie Caldwell, them were the days. Mm. In the snug, I think she died. The robes. Is it nice? Sorry, I got carried away. Delicioso. Delicioso. Well, it might be very busy and quite touristy at this day in August, but it's still magnificent at night. Just look at that. And the other fantastic thing is, after the heat of the coastline, and it's still absolutely boiling down there. It was, it was red hot on the weather map today. You know, here now is perfectly livable with. Uh, it's a lovely summer's evening rather than an oppressive, sweaty coastal evening. Just saying. We're in the B charge app, which is just over the bridge by the old town. This is new. This wasn't here last time we were here. Oh, if it was, we didn't find it. B charge, download the app. Get in the Ebolingo, back up to the ranch, back up to the base station at the in our tent in base station of Kilimanjaro. Thank you, Tamsin. You are very well. For that rally drive. Down the spooky and look, Christian runs. came back on his motorbike. He's, he's back first. The rain. I'm being persuaded that it's a bad idea to uh, to stay in a tent in a rainstorm with thunder and lightning. I'm being summoned into the house for safety. You think we should go? I think we should stay with the tent. Or what if it blows away? Will you stay in the tent? Yeah. I mean, you're going to be safe. Okay. Oh my. Look at this. Twiggy, Mr. Boo. Oh, well, 
least we'll get to test how waterproof our tent is. Callum's not even gone out of bed to watch the storm. And he's got you out of bed early, Callum, yesterday, you know, you were a good five hours later than this. Storm, storms are worth it. Oh. Oh. Where's Twiggy going? Twiggy's going back to the tent. Get her out. No, Twigs. Can I come back, Twig? Look, I live here, she says. Twigs is going to Let's go and check the tent, Mr. Bua. It's quite gone away, but uh, and then we've got to check the car because I think if we can get the keys, because I think it'll have rained in. Oh, careful. <laughs> Flip flop danger. You shouldn't really touch it, that lets the rain through. I think, from memory of scout tents. Are we dry inside? Or is there a puddle? Walking in your shoes is not a great idea, though. Um, well, there's no rain on this floor. What about the bedrooms? Have you got a wet bed, Mr. Boot? No. I think we're dry, don't you? You dry? I'm just checking the perimeters with the tug dog. Yeah, we're dry. Dry? Yeah. So the tent has survived the, the storm. Let's just go and have a look at to out the fact I'm the car keys. Oh! How much water is in there? A little bit, not too much. It's just comes from the straps because they push the seal back but that's all right isn't it oh no no there's quite a lot on the electrics no let's um we don't want that definitely not a puddle on the electrics oh we left the 360 camera battery on the roof that could be the end of that Quite unbelievable. That's the third camping trip in a row in July and August where we managed to engineer a monumental storm. Well, I mean, we didn't engineer it. We don't. We don't have those kind of powers, do we, Mr. Boo? No. But um, anyway, we appear to have survived it. If you've enjoyed this episode, please give us a like. Please give us a comment. Please, please think about buying us a coffee. It really helps us uh, do these trips. But most of all, folks, remember: stay charged. Bye. Bye. The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin